Good afternoon, this video will be devoted again to Shield TV, or rather a problem that has existed for more than three years. Technical support does not answer anything and it seems that they are not going to fix anything. Although on the forum of NVIDIA Shield technical support the questions about this bug, the so-called red push, have existed for a long time. A familiar situation, the same was with the bug in SDR. There was about the same situation, there is a problem, users can see it on their TVs, but NVIDIA was blaming the curvature of the TVs and user settings and did not want to solve the problem. And when I made a video explaining the reason, the problem was acknowledged and subsequently fixed in the new firmware. So I decided to tell about the problem and show the possible cause to help fix this bug. Let me first show you what the problem is. The defect appears mostly on Dolby Vision 7 and 8 profile videos. See, this is a segment from the movie Dr. Sleep. Let's compare the capture from the Shield TV and other players, specifically this Fire TV Max and Dune Real Vision. Look at the girl's cheeks, it will have a very noticeable flaw on it. I now have an additional conversion from HDR to SDR enabled via DaVinci Resolve to make it more visible. But on TVs you will see about the same thing. On this particular film, it's a very noticeable problem. What it manifests in. Look, this is Fire TV Max. This is a Dune Real Vision. And this is a Shield TV. You see, if you compare, the cheek is more red, and it is red locally. Let's zoom in on the image. This is Shield TV. This is Fire TV. This is Shield TV. This is Dune. Again, Fire TV. Shield TV. Dune. Let's look at the individual channels of color. This is the red channel. This is Dune. This is Shield TV. Again, Dune. Again, Shield TV. You can see the difference in lip, nose, and cheek. Here is a comparison with Fire TV. This is the green channel. You can barely see the difference. And this is the blue channel. You can't see much difference either. Now the graph on the screen is just this part of the image fragment. Look, this is Fire TV. This is Shield TV. See the rise in the red channel. Let's go back to the full picture. If we look at the vector scope of the whole picture, the Shield TV graph is quite different from the others. If I do a pixel by pixel comparison of the images on the face of it, the red channel boost comes to 4 or 6 units in 10 bit format. The deviations are kind of small, but you can see it very well on the face. As it turned out, if you look closely, as I showed in the previous video, this difference is actually less than 1% change can be seen with the eyes. Now I'll show you, using the example of the movie Joker. Let's look at the deviations from Dune. There are deviations as well. But in this film, although the difference is visible, it is not as striking as in Doctor Sleep. You can see that everything is redder. But here it is not locally, but more throughout the image there is this difference, the whole image is more red. Next I made a capture of a 1000 nit HDR table file made in Dolby Vision 8th profile. This file I made myself from the HDR version of the file, which as you remember has an interesting flaw in the source. Look what I discovered. Those of you who have seen my previous videos and especially the last one where I told you about the difference in 444 and 422 and why the colors are different will be easier for you to understand. As it turns out, there is an important difference between Dolby Vision processing and HDR processing. The fact is that there are a lot of conversions in Dolby Vision processing and for better video processing, linear or more complex algorithms are applied when converting from 420 to 444. For example, this is how Fire TV Max outputs in HDR. Both planes will use the nearest neighbor for interpolation and the capture in 444 will show steps on the blue gradient. 
And this is how the same Fire TV Max will output when using Dolby Vision processing. See, there are no steps in the gradient, and if you look at the red and blue vertical, horizontal, and especially diagonal bars, you can see that the 422 uses a linear algorithm for color interpolation and possibly for 444, also a linear algorithm. See how much the processing changes. You see the jaggedness in HDR. And when processed in Dolby Vision, it's all quite smooth and the gradient is smooth, there are no defects. Although let me remind you that the players output Dolby Vision in 422 12 bits. When processed in Dolby Vision the video goes through an additional conversion apparently through RGB and LMS. But on the output in LLDV mode we have YCBCR 422 again. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any reliable information about when and where those conversions happen, but I'm sure that there is a conversion to RGB when processing in DV. Let me remind you again, all players in the HDR test had this blue gradient file with obvious steps when captured in 444. But in HDR, the Shield TV was the only one of all players to show this blue gradient without steps. I already told you that the Shield TV was the only one that processed and converted the image in HDR from YCBCR still probably to RGB and to convert to 444 uses a better conversion, namely a linear color interpolation algorithm. Because of this, the diagonal lines on the Shield TV were of the highest quality. Probably due to the conversion to RGB it has a luminance channel conversion. Plus blacker than black range trimming and therefore these steps are not visible on the luminance channel. While all other players when processing in HDR these bars are visible. Just on the luminance channel if we capture 422. And if in 444, then also in the blue channel. Now let's compare. This is the Shield TV's HDR processing. And this is how the Shield TV outputs the same video but in Dolby Vision format. Sound familiar? That is, it turns out that in Dolby Vision the Shield TV does not process the video stream the way it should. Moreover, only the Shield TV has this glitch in Dolby Vision. The other players have no steps in the gradient. This got me thinking that the Shield TV's red color problem in Dolby Vision may be coming from here. That is, either intentionally or accidentally, but the HDR and Dolby Vision processing is mixed up. The Shield TV's HDR should probably still be processed like all players, with no additional conversions to 444 and RGB. But in Dolby Vision, it apparently affects just the processing. And as we remember from my research, processing with a linear algorithm for processing and processing from 422 to 444 and back results in a shift to the green channel. But if you use nearest neighbor processing, then we will have just a shift to crimson red. And maybe because of this incorrect processing, colors in the movies go to red on Dolby Vision. The next question is why some movies show more of this and some movies show less of it. I think it has to do with Dolby Vision itself. HDR does not use dynamic brightness compression in the player itself. Watch this, I'll show you. If we look at this picture, it's a Dolby Vision ton mapping. It's not linear, the vertical is what's displayed on the screen, and the horizontal is the original signal. You can see that there's a kind of curve, with areas where the brightness range is compressed. Perhaps in the movie Doctor Sleep, where the girl's face and cheek became more red, it was this part of the pixels that fell into this part of the compressed range. On the Joker there was probably no such compression in those ranges. And so here there is no local, any strong increase in chromaticity, the image is just the whole with a little bit of red tint. This is the same thing I see in the movie Babylon. You can see on the girl's face that her face is more red on the Shield TV than on the other players. By the way, the 5th dB profile also has a slight deviation. But here it is quite small. Users note that they do not see a difference between the players in the fifth profile. There is a problem with reddening in both LLDV output mode and STD LED mode. It turns out that the problem occurs at the first stage after decoding. And one more observation, back to the table video. 
See, these are the parade graphs for the players in HDR. Note the values below 0, below 64 in 10 bit form. These are areas of blacker than black. It is in the original, by the way. And now the same file, but in DV. See what became, there was a clipping, but the shield TV at the bottom of the values went more. And here's the CIE chromaticity chart. This is HDR, you can see the shift of the white point towards green for the shield TV. And here is the graph for DV, you can see the shift towards red and crimson. Next, I decided to make a special test file in which the colors are compressed to 100 nits. As mostly the defect is well noticeable there. And look what I found. If we compare the graphs, you can see that the colors shift on the Shield TV. Here for example. You can clearly see that yellow is rotated, as well as the other colors, they are shifted sideways, and all colors are shifted, but in different ways. It feels like the Shield TV is kind of mixing up the BT2020 and the P3D65. Unfortunately, I can't determine if this is the cause or the opposite of the cause described earlier. But the fact is, the Shield TV has color confusion. For example, on the same video Awaken Girl. The red became more red, but at the same time on the color red on the contrary has decreased a lot and the blue became more saturated. I took a movie matrix, which is made with display primaries equal to BT2020, this is rare, most movies are made on monitors with P3D65. And found an interesting pattern, this movie on EDID with BT2020 has almost no difference in colors, just the image is brighter, because Shield TV overestimates brightness. But the color balance is maintained. That said, on the LG CX profile which uses the P3D65, there is already a deviation in colors in the Shield TV. And here's another example, the movie Spider-Man. Here the red locally on his suit went towards purple, but not much, at the same time on the green screen, the level of red has dropped and green is more pure, less red impurity. Another example, the movie Tomb Raider also made with display primaries BT2020, but here the use of EDID with BT2020 did not fix the situation, the red is increased at Shield TV both on EDID with BT2020 and on EDID with P3D65. Next is another example, here as we can see, the red couch became more saturated red, because the blue has dropped down, as well as the jacket became more red. And another film. Here too we see that the red details have become a little redder, but for example on the blue suit the red has on the contrary decreased and the color of the suit has become more pure deep blue. As you can see, the problem with red color really is, and it is not an isolated problem of one film, although of course without knowing the original colors, you cannot see the problem, because not everywhere it is expressed locally and explicitly, but the problem must be solved. Based on the examples above. I cannot say exactly what is the root cause, perhaps both problems cumulatively affect. But we have seen that there is a problem with mixed up processing, as well as a problem with color spaces. Hopefully this research will help NVIDIA tech support find the source of the problem. And viewers will hopefully help bring this video to tech support, as it is proof that the problem exists and explains a lot. At this point, probably all. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.